Hey everybody, today we're going to be installing a backup camera system on a Chevy Silverado. This particular system is wireless, but it does come with wiring to have it directly wired and not having to use the wireless feature. Inside the box is the camera, which comes in this protective case, which you'll take out of the visor instructions and a ton of wires camera here and I will tell you the reason for all the wires okay this is a wireless camera but in the instructions it shows you how to hook it up wirelessly or you can hook it up where you use the power adapter and it's directly wired with this longer wire so you're not using the wireless feature but uh, you would power it with this and it would come on when you push that button in and the third way is you can hook the power to the reverse light wire it all the way to the cab and then the camera will come on when the reverse light comes on and you don't have to use the uh, push button the cigarette adapter first thing we're going to do is mount the camera One of the options on this camera is you could hook it up wirelessly. Um, I'm thinking of trying a way to actually wire it from all the way back because underneath this carpet is a grommet. You could have the wires come up through, pull up through there. So I'm going to take a look and see what that looks like. Pops up pretty easy. I'll try to do this so you can see it. The grommet is right there. So you could feed wires underneath there, go up through here, all the way to the top. You would not necessarily have to use the wireless feature. And underneath the truck, it's right there. All right, kind of been monkeying around with this where to put this monitor. I think probably the best place would be like right around in here. Because it's a good size monitor, seven inches. So space is kind of at a premium. Thought about putting it down there or up here, but I think it'll probably work best right here. All right, since I don't feel like running wires directly from the back of the truck to the cab, I'm gonna go with the wireless option since that's what it has. Seems to be the most simple. Got your uh, receiver, your transmitter, and the parts that's gonna hook to the video once uh once we get that set up in the front but the uh, first thing we want to do is we're going to have to take off the tail light
can see that. This one is the transmitter. Got your hot wire in the ground. This is the reverse lights right there. We're gonna splice into the green one and put the hot wire on there. Splice into one of these because it's the ground. And we're going to fish that wire through there to connect to the camera. All right, we got the wire or the transmitter connected. And we're going to fish this through there and put the light back on. This is the wire we just fished out. Here's the wire from the camera. You simply just connect these up. Like so. Now I'm gonna put this up underneath here, out of the way, with some zip ties. All right, on the receiver, need to hook this thing up. It's got a positive and a negative. We're gonna hook up onto here. Put the wires in there, you just screw it down. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, got that wire hooked in there and screwed down. All right, now we're gonna take that piece, plug it right into the cigarette adapter. Okay, that's plugged into the cigarette adapter. Now on the second piece, this has the blue wire because this is the uh, antenna. You can have one of these pieces here on here and a couple video cables. Uh, you only need one. This is for two cameras if you want to hook up a second one. But we're going to take the red, hook it into this piece, and we're going to put the yellow into one of them. So what we have is it looks like this. And this end piece will go to the camera. Here's the end piece that goes to the camera. Okay, we got the monitor sitting up there. And got the cigarette lighter plugged in. I'm gonna take care of these wires later. Turn it on so the light's on. And we're gonna put it in reverse. Thanks for watching.